Morning everyone, it's me Kenza Maksud and today I want to tell you the beautiful benefits of fasting. Today I preach the word of God and I tell you the uh, some points of benefits of fasting. How fasting is powerful and what fasting is doing in your life. Number one. Fasting restore our hunger and sensitivity to God. Fasting is a unique tool we can use to deepen relationship with God. Yes, it's true. Fasting is not about staring yourself. It's about developing relationship with God. When you fasting, your relationship are deeper with God and you are closed to God and day by day your relationship is restored with God and you are disconnect with the world and connected to the God if you are uh, uh, read in determined eight Verse number three, De demonstrates that God allowed the is Israelites to experience, to experience physically hunger to instill in them a, a spiritual hunger for his word. God experienced to Israelites for the spiritual hunger. If you are not hungry for Jesus, you are died. If you want to uh, read more about and know more about the fasting, you also read the Matthew 4, chapter 4, verse 4. And, uh, and number two is the fasting result results in favor. Biblically, acts of fasting is fundamental as self-humbling experience by humbling over self we invite god grace into your lives fear is not earned by fasting but it but is a gracious gift from god when we humble over self if you want more favor of god in your life i want to encourage you to go into fasting if you want to close to go god so you go into fasting if you want to more anointing and the special anointing go into fasting if you want to closer to god go into fasting number three fasting position us to receive the flow of God's grace. Fasting serves as a fulcate through which God's power flow while the uh, power itself comes from the God. Fasting prepare us to be more recapted to his power. Number four, fasting help us to exchange how fasting can exchange your life in the bible in the bible jacob was a soak up all of sue for a spiritual inheritance shifting the course of his density while esau gave up spiritual blessing for momentary comfort this is the powerful lesson that teach us to always, always prioritize the spiritual over the physical. If you want to read more about this story, so you go and check Genesis chapter 25. A lot of Christians give up the spiritual blessing for the, for the physically instead of giving up the physically, physically for the spiritual.
when you give up the spiritual blessing the physically blessing you also give up because physically blessing is not so important but the spiritual blessing is very important because the spiritual blessings have no price you don't give up the price to earn the spiritual blessings because the spiritual blessings is the priceless